Boris Johnson is set to stamp key schemes in Scotland which are paid for by the UK government with a union flag from next year after the country exits the Brexit transition period. The European Union symbol has been used to indicate whether a road or bridge has been directly funded by Brussels but will be replaced with a union flag. The new Scottish Conservative leader, Douglas Ross, has backed the idea. He said Tories in Scotland need to be unashamed of our investment in Scotland. Senior SNP politicians accused Mr Johnson's government of posturing of the worst order and is trying to force the union flag down people's throats. The union flag is set to be used to symbolise when the UK central government money has been spent on Scottish projects. Although a portion of Scotland's government money derives from an annual grant from London, the union flag will not be used for Scottish government spending. Mr Ross said he wanted to highlight the visual connection between Scottish schemes and the UK government's money. He said, we should be unashamed of our direct investment in communities across Scotland. We will see that, through the Shared Prosperity Fund, that is the money that the EU used to earmark for projects in Scotland and other parts of the UK. If they could have an EU flag on it, why not have the United Kingdom flag on it to show that here is an example of our two governments in Scotland, working together, and the UK government delivering for individual communities and projects the length and breadth of the country. Mr Ross added how UK support has seen us through the Covid pandemic by supporting local economies the VAT reduction to 5% is as welcome to tourism and hospitality companies in Shetland as in South Cornwall. The Scottish Secretary, Alistair Jack, said the idea had been signed by both Mr Johnson and Michael Gove. He said the plan would start next year after the end of the Brexit transition period is over in December. Mr Jack said, where there is direct investment or joint investment between the two governments, you would expect to see the Union Jack sitting alongside the Saltire.